Hello everybody, it's Friday. Happy Friday. We have all kinds of great fun things happening on this Friday. Um, one of which for me is this fantastic kickoff to the UWL, uh, Universal War League. First uh, week and I've got King's Circle versus Portugal 1128 today. Now this is going to be super fun and let me tell you why. This is my first war that's going to be following the New World's timing. So let's just take a peek at what that looks like, shall we? Look at this, okay? So it's a five minute prep, 45 minute war, so very fast. And our first attack comes in 37 minutes. So literally eight minutes after the, uh, the war starts, we're team A, or we, King Circle, <coughs> is team A. So somebody's gonna have to hit at 37 and then at 29 and etc. Um, for team A. Portugal 1128 is team B in this case. But you know that those eight minutes that's not a lot of time. So I'm kind of excited to see how this one goes and then it should just be fast and furious. So I'm pretty I'm looking forward to it. Um, so that is what is the hit times in case you were curious about those. I will put those away. First war with the KC Power. Hello Phoebes, how are you? Phoebes. You know, we don't say Casey Power, we say Rock the Circle. And hello, Queen Gem. And you know, I even have a little, I think, where's my emote? There it is. There we go, Rock the Circle. So, you know, we're, because, because that's supposed to tie together, like, you know, King's Rock, this historic push clan, very successful in push with the the circle idea, King's Circle and eSports, so we're rocking the circle. All right, so who do we got on the map? Let's check it out, shall we? Today, for you, we have K.R. Gordy. We have K.R. Aaron, who it must be just deep in the middle of the night for K.R. Aaron. We have Tom's. Tom's, who I have on my fantasy roster for Alpha League. Chris, who normally has trouble with work, but apparently is now available today. And Pocha. Pocha, who usually goes first and triples right out of the gate. Well, hello there, Grumpy Sned. How is Grumpy Sned today? Grumpy Sned, I didn't look at the clan tag. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> This five minute prep thing is a hard, it's high card with five minutes of prep. So that's who we have on the King Circle side today. Portugal 1128, who are they bringing to the game? We have Fernando. We have Siska. We have Nunakput. Nunanakput. Nunakput? No, no. I, what is that? Nunakaput. Nun, Nuno. We're just going to call this person Nuno, okay? I'm sorry if your name is not Nuno, but you're, you're now Nuno. And we have Joka, and we have Profeta. Fernando, Siska, Nuno, Joka, Profeta. There we go. That's who is on the Portugal side today. Now, these, you know, the planning has to be fast and furious, because really that first hit at 37 is really, really early. I am doing great, Grumpy Sned. I am not grumpy today. Some days I'm grumpy, but today I'm not grumpy. I'm just, today's a good day. It's a Friday. I don't know where it is where everyone else is, but where I am, we have had substantial snow melt. We got the sun shining. It's warming up. It is just, it's like, like you can sense the spring coming. And at the same time with all the reports about, you know, the vaccines for us being available, it's like, it's, it's like, there's just, there's just this like sense of, of hope going on right now. So I'm happy about all that. Uh, hope, hope will carry you a long way. So, so this is the first week of the Universal War League season. Oh my gosh. What are they? Season four, season five. Um, so you're always grumpy day shift weekend. Oh yeah. Okay. That sucks. I would, I could see how you would be, you'd be grumpy. And now Gordy here, Gordy, who is on the map, Gordy, who has to hit sometime soon. KR Gordy right here. He's number one. He is concerned not about his hit. Oh no. Oh no. Gordy is very confident. And so instead of being worried about his hit, he wants me to read a page from the no fucks given calendar. 
Okay, Gordy, I can do that for you. I can read you a page from the No Fucks Given calendar. It is March 12th, so I will read you March 12th. I have not yet read March. Oh, it's really long, Gordy. It might take all the time until 37 to read this. It says, Converting the What Ifs into the Now Whats is the title of this. Converting What Ifs into Now Whats. Determine if the worries are justified, and if so, how to prepare for and mitigate the damage should the problems they stem from come to fruition. Start by classifying your what-ifs by category, much like the National Weather Service classifies hurricanes, one being least severe, five being most. Except in your case, you're not dealing with hurricanes, you're dealing with shit storms. Oh, come on, you saw that pun coming a mile away. Oh, that's bad. Next, assign a status, prioritizing not only what needs dealing with, but how soon. A calculation based on your favorite factor, urgency. Okay, really? What is, this is like a how-to manual for prioritizing shit in your life. Only they try to shove it all into one little calendar day, and they try to use big words. And so it's totally obfuscating, which is just telling you that some of the things you worry about are not important, and some of them are. And some of the things that you worry about are urgent, and others are not. And if you just classify those, it'll help you. I would agree with that. But you can really say it in a much more simple way. No fucks given calendar gets the big veto from KTM for the day for taking a simple concept and making it complicated complicated by using complex sentence structure and big words. There is no need for complex sentence structure and big words when trying to communicate something quite simple. The only possible reason you would do that is to obfuscate and make yourself like feel like you're smarter than you are or something. That's a big bunch of bunch of that's a bunch of bunk. So I'm going to tell you today, I am not giving a fuck about whatever the no fucks given calendar has to tell me. We're just going to, we're going to let that, that shit fly and not worry. And instead, we are going to give all kinds of fucks about whether somebody from King Circle is going to be ready to do their attack in, at the 37 mark. You know, so the rules for the UWL are tight on this. It's 37 plus or minus 15 seconds which is tight given that server sync issues can be more than that. So I just want to preface it by telling you that something that's slightly off on your side might not be slightly off on the other side um, because of my work on Global Clash Cup and, and, the, and what, what I know from the teams that investigate that stuff. The server sync issues can be much more than 15 seconds. Hello, Gabba Olson. How are you, Gabba Olson? All right, we've got the snail. And so now I'm thinking I'm supposed to remember that Gabba and the snail are the same. And that might be right. You might be Disneal. All right, we have K.R. Aaron. Aaron going in. He's got these, these lava inferno dragon things. And he's got an E-dragon in the corner at three, making a funnel. He's got heroes down there at six. He is sending them all right into the middle. We got three Infernos here that we are dealing with all at the same time. And in the meantime, the Eagle, way over there on the other side of the base, pummeling down. Aaron sends in that blimp right at the town hall. And the blimp takes down the town hall. He had a couple of Yetis in there, effectively coring out the middle of the base. So he has a little bit of a split. He's got more of his... Um, flyers heading to the left and to the right but he's got enough there on the right to get down that scatter shot at least let's see we've got a skelly spell two freeze spells and somewhere we still have our royal champion ability so she's going after this whiz tower right now she is doing fine now she's going after the grand warden used up her ability right there that uh Enemy King is kind of going to distract her for a bit, and she's going to have to take him down before she does anything else. It's like it's like that with men, you know. you got to take care of them. So here goes the Eagle. Bye-bye, Eagle. Royal Champion going to get down the uh, Archer Tower. be nice if she'd go over there and grab that air defense, but I don't know if she's going to get that much. She's just got one little whisper of health left. And, yeah, she's not because, because Expo. So this will not triple. I mean, Aaron will use that last freeze spell to keep stuff up as long as he can, but that is going to be not a triple from Aaron to kick it off. 
All right, you're feeling like Gabba Olson. Gabba is your toxic personality. Okay, Disneal. I enjoy Disneal. Do you guys like check out Disneal on Twitter? Disneal is great. Hello, so Khaleesi is a Portugal 1128 fan. Well, let's let's go, go, go. Let's, let's see them put up a good fight. Thank you for the follow, by the way, Khaleesi and now Viral. Thank you, I appreciate those follows. Um, all right, so that was our first hit. We had Kings Rock Aaron, 2 a.m. for him or something like that. 77% double. Let's see what Portugal 1128 has to respond with. And I would like to, right now, just compliment Portugal 1128. Your clan rep was a joy to deal with. We had a very, very nice negotiation about when this would happen and we were very collaborative and it was just quite pleasant so compliments to portugal 1128 i think it's batman right but with some number in the middle so it makes it confusing i'm looking up his name right now yes b47 man which might be batman with numbers yes well hello pocha 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 <laughs> So, yeah, so Rabani Khan is Pocha in disguise. Gabba Olson is Disneal in disguise. There's, like, so much disguising going on. I don't know what to make of that. I'm not sure, like, which of your multiple personalities you really are and which one is the fake one. <laughs> I was right. Okay, so we do indeed have... The hit from Fernando going in on Gordy. All right, Fernando. Fernando's got witches and quakes. He's got that eight quake witch hit with probably, let's just see, but it's probably a siege barracks full of hogs is my guess. That's what that is. Let's see how Fernando wants to do this. Yep, Fernando's going to go in from... Is it 9 to 12 or is it 9 to 6? Yes, 9 to 12 with a couple of golems and a slew of witches behind on each side. Three ice golems in the middle. Siege barracks goes down and out pops the P.E.K.K.A. on the left side. Top side. Troops are going to move into the middle for the most part. It looks like we might get some witches heading around the edge. Maybe. Nope, they're all going in. All right. Clan Castle has come out. Um, Town Hall is down. The Warden ability was used right there. Uh, that Hound in the uh, CC has now popped. So we've got to work through that. It does not take very long. And the... That was a free, was it either a free spell or a nice golem on that uh, scatter. That was nice. So the, the Royal Champion is now kind of moving on the inside around the bottom. Queen in the middle there. She might go after that Inferno Tower. The other, the king was on the other um, uh, scatter shot. I mean, this is looking pretty, this is looking pretty stout. You know, we've got a single Inferno up top there that, I think it's a single, isn't it? That's still up, but, um, I mean, let's face it, with witches, that won't last very long. There is also a Wiz Tower up there, but we still do even, I mean, Fernando even has a Queen ability left. And this is just, this is just going to triple. So because of that, I think that Khaleesi is going to be having a little Portugal 1128 celebration in the chat. It's like a tide flow. Is it an FC? It's a tournament. This is the UWL, which is the Universal War League. Week one of the tournament. Devin, hello. I'm just going to go with Devin. That's a really long name. Nice job, Fernando. Fernando puts up the triple, putting King Circle on notice. They got to get their act together. Must get act together. Come on, King Circle. Okay, now let's take a peek at these hit times again. Somehow I thought we were off. Uh, 33, nope, 29. Okay. All right, good. We got one minute before someone else will hit. If I had to get, if I had to, if I was a betting person, I would bet that it will be Pocha, but I don't know. We'll see. You thought it was overpowered. It was. It was a, actually, I mean, it was nicely done. 
you know, those, like, like those witches can all die. Like, it, if you're not careful with your freezes on some key defenses. So, it was a well done attack. We, we must give Fernando the three star credit for that. Fernando had a nice hit. Read the base well, took care of business, had plenty left over. So Fernando says we're not going down easy. Let's see what Pocha does though. We'll see. I don't know. I usually see Pocha in the leadoff position, but it was super late for Aaron and Aaron wanted to go to bed. So there we go. Pocha's in. And B R no chat. I don't know what that means. All right, Pocha. Pocha with the Inferno Dragons also and Scally Spells. This sort of looks like the hit that Aaron just did, does it not? Are the King's Circle players one-trick ponies? We will see. All right, Pocha. You have the E-Dragon in one corner, has the Queen in the other corner, has Loons and Inferno Dragons moving into the middle. Use the Warden ability there very early. Heading into this center with both scatter shots is a little scary. Um, and we've got a number of our Inferno Dragons that have headed down kind of south and north. So I don't know. Maybe we do. It's going to take forever to get that clan castle down. He throws in a blimp to move in towards the town hall. We do have, we had one Inferno Dragon on that eagle, but that Inferno Dragon has died. We got the two that were on the scatter, but they have now died. So the town hall is down. Um, but I don't know, Pocha, you got enough left here? I mean, he's got three hero abilities and a freeze spell. And so it kind of feels like it's dying, but he's still got a fair amount. I mean, hero abilities are not are nothing to sneeze at, right? So let's see if they... Uh, I think I think he's gonna get it. Yeah, he's gonna use his uh, royal champion ability. She's gonna take out a whole bunch of defenses. You know, I'll have to work through this enemy king, but he will die eventually under the onslaught of Pocha's queen. There we go. Oh, we don't. Oh, I missed it. There's that. I missed the queen pad or whatever it's called altar in the middle there. But he's got plenty of time left. Nice job, Pocha. Nice job, Pocha. There you are. You're in the chat before it's even done. Congratulations, buddy. Huge hit. Huge good hit. Hello, Nalupus. Thank you for the follow. I totally appreciate that. So we are two hits in from King's Circle, a double and a triple. We had Portugal, 1128's Fernando lead this thing off with a triple. So... Let's see, you know, if Portugal can keep up that momentum and add to add another triple to it or no. Let's see. Ah, Devin, okay. I understand now. You're Brazilian. I do not speak any Portuguese, but thank you for visiting me anyway. Gordy says one trick is your favorite trick. <laughs> well, one trick is okay if it's a triple trick, right? Yeah, I think I made a comment about one about about King Circle being one trick ponies because there were two in a row that were both the Inferno Dragons, right? I think that's what I think that's what that was a response to. I did say that. Stad says OP hit done well. Yeah, that's true. Pocha. And Desneal says, remember my Electro PP swag and Gordita's tourney. No, I don't remember that, but Gordy might. Electron PP swag. That sounds kind of funny. All right, who do we got next? Who's up next? Portugal eleven twenty eight. Are they in? A, is it the twenty five or is it twenty four? I think it might be at the twenty five. This is kind of nice the way these are just bam, 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 fast hits, especially on a Friday. Because for me, you know, we're we're like slowly sliding into Friday afternoon. And it would not be a bad thing for it to be a little later because it's always five o'clock somewhere. And I have, you know, a nice gin and tonic calling my name. It's warm enough outside that I'm starting to think about summer drinks instead of winter drinks. Gin and tonic would be a good thing today. Mm. 
Okay, we are in Portugal 11 at 28, the attacker. Profeta is going to go after Tom's with a hybrid. I am, let's see how Profeta wants to approach the hybrid on this base. Queen down here, baby dragon, loons moving in. Healers down on the queen. Loons just kind of watching for mines and bombs. Another baby dragon. I guess we want the queen to go in and take down that multi-inferno and probably the clan castle and maybe the enemy queen. Let's see if if Profeta, if the queen for Profeta gets all that done and potentially even the town hall, right? A couple expos. Let's see. All right, we got one little troop that came out of the clan castle there. Profeta throws down the poison to slow everything down but it's under attack by the queen and an inferno and the clan castle all at the same time. So Profeta has to use another rage spell. We've got those super minions coming out of the CC behind. The queen will take those down now, no problem. A couple of expos. She gets into range. Will she, will she survive the expos? You know that uh, clan castle takes forever. All right, she does survive the expos. Now we've got a, an, another inferno tower on her though. Distracted to the left by a Tesla. Will she come back for the town hall? I mean, I think she will. It's gonna be a while. She's gonna take her slow, sweet time getting there. Take down a couple other things on the way. Oh, healers are now getting fried. Okay, Profeta threw in the king up at one o'clock for a funnel, and now the hybrid army is going in towards the town hall. I guess Profeta got worried also that the queen would not double back for that. And so the queen ability was just used right there. Town hall did go down. We've got two heal spells left. Hogs just came out of the CC. One heal down over the middle. There's a tornado trap there that is no bother whatsoever. It looks like there are a shit ton of miners left here. Let's see though if they last. So we got a bomb tower. We got no spells left. Okay, that's what I was worried about. There were a lot of miners, but they all kind of died right there under the Inferno and um, Scattershot and the bomb, and they were all dead. So that was a nice attempt by Profeta, um, but we're going to give Tom's credit for a good defense there. 70% double by Profeta. So we are now at two hits on each side, tied up 5-5. Five, five. King's circle ahead slightly on percent with an 88 and a half average versus Portugal 11-20 with the 85. It is still anybody's war at this point. There's, there's a lot of, that's only two hits in on each side, but it's good to see these exciting and interesting wars happen. They're much more fun than a one-sided. Although I'm sure that all my friends from King's Circle will say that's not true. <laughs> It'll be like, yeah, we'll take one-sided. We're okay with one-sided. <laughs> all right. So I, w oh, here we're in, we're in, we're in. We have Tom's in. I have Tom's on my fantasy roster for Alpha League, so I am I am like Tom's number one fan today. And Tom's is gonna try a hybrid himself. So let's see how Tom's approaches the hybrid here. We have our, um, okay, so he threw in a super wall breaker. What is he trying to break? What are you trying to break there, Tom's? I don't, I'm not sure that was it. I think he was trying for something that's not going to happen. So the clan castle is partly out, but not completely out. And the queen, I'm assuming he wants her to walk inside. And let's see. I don't know what he was trying to wall break there. I'm, I'm with, this cannon, that doesn't seem right. I mean, do you want to get into that other compartment? I'm so confused by the wall breakers. Maybe they were to pull the CC, I don't know. Okay, so we have a Hound and a Super Minion coming out of the CC. The Hound is popped. Uh, rage down there on the Queen and the Healers. Another Rage. 
that super minion needs to die. Now we can go after the town hall. She is running low, but still has her ability left. Healers have healed her back up. But there's still a lot of heat on her with those two Expos and the Inferno. So Tom's with yet another Rage spell. He's investing a fair bit of spell into this Queen Charge. And now has thrown in a Siege Barracks up at 12. And the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards are clearing out that corner. We have the Hybrid Army. Miners, Hogs, Warden, Royal Champion heading in from 10 to 11. They are going to take down one Inferno. They are going to go after the enemy royal champion. Um, looks like he threw in another super wall breaker there. All right. Okay. Out come the uh, hogs. Hogs are more hogs from the siege barracks coming in to help out with this Inferno on the top side. And are we going to get it done? I don't know. I'm worried that, the, you know, when you're left with, my, with a couple of miners, let, okay, well, we did have a healer. I was going to say when you're left with just miners at the end, and but there's healers. And we still have this uh, royal champion ability. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. I'm going to give this one a hot maybe at this point. I'm going to say I don't know what's going to happen. There, he just used the royal champion's ability. He's got a few cleanup troops. He's got a few miners still circling. The last eagle fire just happened. Um, we've got like one healer on our warden. 17 seconds. I think this is not going to quite happen for Tom's. I think we're going to end up with a fairly high double, but it's just not going to quite be enough to add another triple to the board. I think we're going to end up here at what, 91 maybe? 92, 91. Nice try, Toms. Good try. 91% double from Toms. That will pull up the King's Circle average, but does not give the comfortable star lead that we would prefer. That's your legend base. Oh, hello, Guns. How's Guns today? Good to see you, Guns. I missed it that Guns was here. Guns just started streaming recently, but he's on fire. All right, this is very fast. These hits, like, they just bam, bam, bam. So is this next one at 16? I don't have these hit times memorized yet. Let's take another peek at it. Um, 17. Okay, so that should happen any moment now. We'll, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt on server sync. I have seen server sync that was like a big, like a whole minute. So I don't know. There we go. There we go. Good deal. All right, we have Joka. I'm going to hit Pocha with another hybrid. So much hybrid today. Inferno Dragons and hybrid. Those are the things that they, oh, we did have that one witch hit. The one that, that one that tripled. Um, okay. We've got baby dragons making funnels. We have the queen. She's going to charge into this compartment. She's going to take down that scatter shot. She's going to take down that air defense. She's going to grab the enemy royal champion here. Joka Pult throws down a rage spell. And queen finds a bomb. Queen takes down enemy royal champion. Queen, let's get another, another, uh, Super wall breaker moved in there, so we are blimping out the compartment at three o'clock. So we had the queen in the middle and she's dead now. The compartment at three o'clock was blimped. Clan castle is out and running. There's a couple of healers up, but there's a couple of healers down. So the uh, whole the whole hybrid army heading in from ten o'clock, I assume that Joko thought the queen was going to stay up, and I think this is an attempt to save the double. But I do not, I cannot read minds, so I don't know for sure. We had just froze that scatter shot. And there are no spells left, but we Joka does still have the royal champion ability. 
So we'll see how for so we still got and then it's still there's like miners going around the outside. So with the eagle down, those could get some percentage. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's more here than I think there is. The royal champion ability was just used, but she will soon be dead, I think. And the warden is still up, but he will soon be dead. And we got a king up top. That will soon be dead, and we'll just be left with these miners circling the outside, getting picked off one at a time by that archer tower. And now we got cannons. All right, what kind of percent is Joker going to be able to put up here? 75? Do I hear 75? Yep, there was a 75. Are we going to get 76? I don't think so. I think we're going to be done at 75. All right, Joka. Nice try there on that hybrid. I'm having a little trouble. Okay, so we're now three hits each side, tied up at 7-7. Seven, seven. Still tied on stars, 89.3% for King Circle, 81.7 for Portugal. So that's a little bit of a lead for King Circle. Um, it'd be nice to have another star on the board. Just I'm just saying, kids. I'm just saying, kids. It'd be good to have another star. And there we go. Someone will go in. Chris, KR Chris. Another hybrid. So much hybrid, so little time. Um, our queen at nine o'clock. She is healing up. She's gonna go and take down that inferno. Like I say these things and I know you can see them too. <laughs> uh, we had some super wall breakers in there. Clan castle is out. Queen raged up along with her healers to work through that hound and this ice golem. Loons sent in to help out with that whiz tower. Do not quite get it down. Baby dragon and another loon up at uh, 10 o'clock. Probably to try to get the queen to head in towards that town hall instead of going to the left for the bomb tower. We'll see if that works. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, queen, queen will move in. She'll grab this uh, expo. And then she should... Oh, enemy royal champion. Will she stay alive? Will Chris keep her going? Chris does. Chris manages through that just fine. So we now have our siege barracks up at 1 o'clock also, setting the other side of a funnel of Pekka and the wizards moving in. Hybrid army coming in um, from 10.30 to 11.30. I guess Chris waited till he knew the queen would go in and take the town hall. She is has done that and still is up with her healers doing some damage over here. Siege barracks hogs are now out and going to circle kind of around to the to the left. We've got the hogs on the scatter in the middle. We still do have the eagle firing. We do have a Tesla farm that's been uncovered at six o'clock. We've got miners and hogs moving in towards the eagle and this third inferno. A couple skelly traps pop up right there. Still have our queen ability. 54 seconds remaining. I think, I think that's a triple. I don't want to call it too soon, but to me that has, that looks just like a triple. That looks like exactly the triple that King Circle needed to feel good about, to feel good today. Nice job, Chris. Nice, nice job, Chris. Fantastic hit. King Fury, how can I think like you? Your brain is so big. <laughs> Huge brain. <laughs> He had a good hit, didn't he? It was a good hit. You can't, you know, I, it was a good hit, yeah. We, we, we need to be, you know, I told him they needed another triple, and so Chris just, he just follows, he just follows instructions. <laughs> hey, Styles here, how are you? So who's left from the King Circle to hit? We have Gordy, oh, Gordy. Gordy, who's been hanging out in chat, 
Let's see what Gordy's going to do. Most of us who've watched Gordy play before, we, we know what they're going to do. Who tripled? Um, we have triples from Chris and Pocha on, from King's Circle. And we had a leadoff triple from Fernando from Portugal 1128. So, you know, I had all of my stock in Tom's because Tom's is on my fantasy team. But Tom's did not quite triple today. He's saving it all for Alpha League. Gordy triple. Gordy didn't hit yet. See, my team, Gordy. Gordy did not hit yet. Gordy, Gordy probably will triple. I mean, like I, like that's a, if you were, if you were betting, you might bet on Gordy. I could see that. Okay, Styles saying Gordy will triple. All right, there we go. Let's go. We have Nuno from Portugal, 1128 with their fourth hit gonna go after chris now they're a little behind on percent so if they triple this king circle will still be in the lead but they do need to triple all right so we're doing another one of these eight quake log launcher witch hits with a couple of extra hogs so there are the eight quakes let's see where nuno is going to throw that log launcher in Nuno coming in from 12 to 3. Bunch of golems, witches. And down here at 6, there was something going on. It's not anymore. So Log Launcher is in. It is rolling towards the town hall. Spewing out its caustic logs. Got a whole bunch of witches heading in there too. But the eagle is firing down on them. So the Warden ability was used right there. The Log Launcher pops open. And we've got a whole mess of witches that are moving around from three to six. They just blew up on a bomb. So they're a little low on health. Uh, the Eagle still, still up. It's getting ready for another shot. We don't really have much on it. So the clan castle in the middle with that with those super minions was in play there for a bit. Nuno still has the queen ability left in play in a minute and 27, plenty of time. I think there's just so many witches here that this is going to fall. I think Nuno is going to put up the triple that Portugal needed to stay in this. That looks like a triple to me. Nice job by Nuno. These, this Portugal 1128 team knows how to run these witch attacks. They've done a couple, that's the two triples this time, both these witch attacks. So nice job by Nuno. So let's see. Um, Gordy always tripled. He is a triple. Okay, well, that's, that's good. Gordy is Chuck Norris. <laughs> Spammy witches, you know what? When it, when it works, it works. So, you cannot complain about anything that puts up a triple. So, and the other thing is, if you've tried to do those hits, if you tried to do those hits, what you know is that they're not as easy to triple as they look like. Because if they were, you'd all be using them. They're not as easy as they look. There's a lot to do with spell timing on those. So, all right, we have the King's Circle. These are these last hits are not simultaneous in this league. So King's Circle should be hitting, I think, at the five, and then Portugal at the one. Percent, yes, King's Circle ahead, um, 92 over 86. So if King's Circle gets a triple here, it's a win. And if King's Circle does not get a triple, it leaves the door open for Portugal. Hello, Hammy. How's Hammy today? Hammy, I was hearing all about the 187 thing. You're fine? I'm fine. It's a good day. It's a great day, actually. Like I, I said earlier, it's starting to warm up here. We've had a whole bunch of snow melting. It's warm outside. It's sunny. Feels like spring is in the air. Vaccines are on the way. And we got Gordy running a hybrid. Who could complain? Am 
I playing TFT? I do play TFT. I don't ever stream TFT. It feels like a very solo game to me, but I do play TFT. A couple games a day. Maybe one, maybe two. Okay, Gordy is charging the town hall with his queen. Used those Coco Loons. Caught some black air mines. Throws in a... A little archer there to help with the um, skellies and now the queen is on the town hall the balloon also moving in towards it down queen will get the town hall that'll be fine um, okay Gordy has to rage her all right so now where is Gordy I'm assuming that was his primary queen objective so what's Gordy's next move here well, maybe I'm wrong maybe he has more objectives for his queen if it were me, that's all I'd have her do. But he's like, nah, I want her doing more. She's going to do more before she gets any help. So, okay. Queen going to head down and take down the scatter. Um, I assume. Then she'll go after the sweeper. And potentially, Gordy wants her to go after the other scatter as well. Or at least tank it. That must be it. Those healers are getting blasted by that air defense, though. Okay, so he froze the air defense. So Gordy was like, yeah, I can't have that. All right, so he's got his hybrid army heading in there at like 10 o'clock. Siege barracks um, at uh, 8.30. Along with the king on the outside. So the whole, so the queen is kind of working off to the right. The hybrid army um, doing all kinds of damage in the, on the left. We've got that one inferno in the middle. I'm not sure who's going to go get that thing. Um, Eagle is firing like crazy, like it does. Uh, got miners on the enemy king. Just used our queen ability. Siege Barracks hogs have come out. And maybe they're going to go get that inferno in the middle. Along with the royal champion. I think that's what's going to happen here. Queen is dead, but the healers have, are transferred. They're not all gone yet. And we've got hogs. Finishing off this one compartment. We've still got miners up. We still have the wizards. I mean, this is looking like Gordy's just tripled. I believe that K.R. Gordy has just tripled this hit. And K.R. Gordy is going to make it mathematically impossible for Portugal to win. Nice job, K.R. Gordy. Gordy is really, really good at hybrid. It takes a lot of restraint for me to not tell everybody how good Gordy is at hybrid before the before the attacks. But after the attacks, he's really good at hybrid. <laughs> hard time. How are you, hard time? Good to see you. Uh, Gordy is too godly. GG, Gordy, Gordy, godly, godly, Gordy, GG. There's got to be some sort of an alliterative pun right there. Uh, he is really, he's just really good at hybrid. I, like, you, you, and, and hybrid is still a very viable strategy. So, hello, Gordy. Nice hit. <laughs> Hard time you're sitting in a parking lot hiding out from work. Hey, are we going to run some BRs tonight, HT? It's Friday. I usually do it on Friday. I, I carry hard time and humongous around the BR maps. Just in case you were wondering, I do all the work and they just ride along for the fun. <laughs> it's totally the opposite. You're hiding from your kids? Um, okay, Portugal, you've got a hit left. Um, I hope you do the hit. I'm worried the countdown. And now there could be server sync issues here, right? So... There it is. Okay, good. Portugal's in. We know that King Circle's going to win, but let's see what Portugal does. Well, okay, we've got zaps. We've got some zap witch log roller. Okay, zapping out or softening. We'll see. Zapping something. I missed what was zapped right there. Something was zapped. There we go. We zapped out one scatter shot. And now Siska... It's going to throw some witches in at 12, throw some more witches in at 3, a couple of ice golems, regular golems in between, log roller. Siska is not afraid to start the opposite of the town hall. 
I would be very afraid to stop at the opposite of the town hall because my log roller never makes it that far. So maybe Siska knows the magic of getting the log roller all the way to the town hall. So we have our warden ability used right there, which I know is part of the magic of getting it to the town hall. Now the clan castle is out though. That clan castle, I guess maybe the log roller is going to roll it down. I don't know. So we have, yeah, so the log roller popped, right? No, but there's still a fair number of troops left. We've still got our king and our queen ability. We still have witches circling on both sides. I think that that town hall will go down. A whole bunch of Teslas popped up down here, but I don't know if they're going to be a bother or not. I think that Siska might triple this. This might be the triple, and it will be a king circle win on percent. Potentially. I mean, it's not over yet, right? And that inferno there is causing some anxiety. We'll see. Hard time. We had four straight first place of me carrying. Yeah, I know. He knows the war is lost. Why not go ballsy? Yeah, I know. I thought about that too. That if you, if you're if you can't win anyway, you might as well start opposite the town hall and risk the you know risk it because you can't win anyway. So, but it looks to me like I mean it's going to be close here. But I think I think this is going to triple because I think those witches are going to make enough skellies to distract that inferno tower and pop it down. I think that's what's going to happen here. And it will be a triple from Siska. Yeah. Nice job, Siska. Good, good, good work there. So, yes, yeah, still a triple. Um, there we go. So the war has ended at 1313. We've got King's Circle victorious at 93.6. Portugal put in a really good effort there um, at 89%. So good job by both clans.